Hello and welcome, Sai here. Today I wanted to look at a new build. Now most of you who watch my videos at least know that I've been playing around with instant storage for the Grand Temple for a node generator uh, wave of light build. And also those of you who've been watching my videos know that I've also been playing around with a flying dragon build that utilizes attack speeds to constantly spam mantra to spawn Sun Wuko decoys for damage. Now, through playing those two different bolts, I kind of came to the conclusion that the uh, no generator bolt bolt uh, lacked a bit of survivability, but the damage was decent. Whereas the flying dragon bolt, the damage was not so decent, but the survivability was great because I could spam the mantra. So I thought, why not? Let's mix and match the bolts a bit. Uh, so I got my instant source of grand temple on, and I've got a generator. Uh, Pistol Thunder for 20 spreads per attack, and I also have, yeah, well, that's pretty much it already. <laughs> that's the that's the changes already. I'm using a generator with the the with light bulb. Uh, so the concepts of the two are kind of amalgamated into this sort of uh, attack and spam with your balls and your mantra for super DPS. And then just switch over to the generator when I need to get some spirit up. So this is more sort of a traditional monk, uh, in the sense that we're actually using the monk as intended, I suppose. <laughs> Not using all these weird tricks and, and stuff. But there we go. So that's the build. Um, I've also started uh, going more towards vitality and life percent. Reason being is that I figure that since we've got such huge healing potential now with the transcendence buff um, a bigger health pool will be worthwhile I mean once your mitigation is around 80 percent ish uh, it's really hard to get it a lot higher than, than that uh, with any additional toughness but however vitality just stays the same there's no uh, mitigation um, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, Diminishing returns, that's this. Uh, as you're, you get more resistances up, your the amount of damage that is reduced is diminished. Uh, whereas Vitality has no such block, so I figure that Vitality is a good way to go since we have this big healing uh, ability at our disposal now. Right, so I'm going to do a Rift very quickly. Oh, I hope it's quick at least. I'm going to do Rift 26, which is a bit harder than Torment 6. I found. But let's have to go, let's go. Right. Oh. Two, two champion packs already. So I run into two champion packs and the damage uh, I will be taking is going to be a bit higher than I'd like. So at this point I can, if I get a little bit low on HP and uh, feel that I'm taking too much damage I can just switch to Mount of spam only. Of course, I got a pair of Reaper Raps as well, so I can uh, pick up Health Globes and spam both the Mantra and the Bolt at the same time to get some burst DPS going. And of course, since there's uh, burst DPS going down, I'm also getting a lot of things around me which got additional Health Globes. So I can continue the Bow and Mantra spam. And of course I've got my air ally that uh, gives me an extra 100 spurs. Oh, hello. Now, spamming the mantra, you can pretty much face tank ending at this level. I feel that can't speak for high at levels just yet. I've taken this ball up to uh, Rook 28, and 
being frustrated by Randy at the end, but I did fairly well. Uh, I've made some changes, I haven't been able to test how high I guess I have been high grade rust, but I figure I keep it really short by doing a lower rift. Come on. on the backs. Still doing alright on the timer, and actually, this gives me the opportunity to go down this route, which I assume is gonna meet up at the top there. Yeah, in a deal world, you won't, you wouldn't get frozen. Like, I was just being a, a bit stupid, really. It's quite a good rift actually. I will admit that I've been quite lucky with the density of the script. Lots of Dark Berserkers. No matter of fact, Dark Berserkers give you quite a bit of extra progress without being too difficult to kill.
Okay. Oh, dead end. I do just like that uh, part of the. Whoa. What's behind door number one? Also has a short dash turn, which makes it nice to catch uh, catch up to enemies that are running away. One of the gripes I had with the no generator bubble was that I had trouble uh, getting around during combat. Go, that was quite fast actually. Four and a half minutes. Thirteen seconds remaining, so just over ten minutes. Yeah, just over ten minutes to do that. Let's have a look quickly. Look at the passes. I didn't show you those. We've got six cents for non-physical damage taken reduced by twenty-five percent. That's very nice. I got unity because I'm uh, using inners uh, for set bonus for and that gives me of course twenty percent damage during solo play. Guardians path for spirit regen and of course transcendence for healing. So I'll leave a uh, link in the in the description to the build and a short description of the build and text there if you can't understand what I'm saying for some reason. Uh, I know some people do that. Should we do? Yeah. I want to test out this build to the limits and see how far I can get. Hopefully I'll return with good news. Anywho, um, hello Auric. I'm going to, the build link is going to be to a Diablo fans uh, build generator and if you like this build at all, if you enjoyed this video, please upvote us. You will need an account at Diablo fans to upvote it, but that would really help me a lot so if you could do that. Also remember to like, comment, subscribe and I've been Sire and I'll see you next time.